How's breakfast going? Good. What's up? I'm Percy. This is Rissy. And welcome to our hit new morning show called... Half calf. Half calf. Someone is caffeinated and someone is zero caffeinated. You, <laughs> you look like you slept in a tornado last night. How you feeling? where every day we upload a short little video that's hopefully something distracting, motivational, inspirational, and hopefully just a little distracting. So. I am not calfed up enough. Here, we're getting a lot of new folks viewing the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Give us a chance, even just a few videos. Please hit subscribe, please hit the bell so that you know when we upload them. We upload them every day, so come back every day. Here comes the noise. You want to do the comics now? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Got like extra loud. Happy Wednesday, September 23rd. You know what today is? International Day of Sign Languages. Ooh, I learned a little sign language. Yeah, you have? I think this is A, this is D or something. D? You jump from A to D? Okay. No, I don't remember. Okay, I know. In yeah, no, I, we, we taught you some sign language when, when you were even a little baby. Well, I don't even remember. I, Is this I, mom? I dad? Mom, dad? I always got those. I learned years. a little sign language um, at Help. the playground. You did? What, what, what kind of sign language did you learn on the playground? I'm scared to ask. Well, um, there was like a board. And then on the inside, they had sign language letters. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Well, that's nice and wholesome. Language. That could have gone in different directions. Well, so that's interesting that you bring that up about kind of learning different signs, not knowing them. It kind of, it's crazy. There isn't just one sign language, as I guess you could imagine. And like, it's not even consistent across countries that say speak the same language. They don't all speak the same sign language, right? So like English is spoken obviously in the United States, in Australia, in New Zealand, but I don't even think they all have, we don't all share the same form of sign language, which is kind of nuts. There's all these possibilities and changes even in that language. And that leads us into the fact that it's time for the percolator. <laughs> The story of the day is about Enola Holmes. And my mother was missing, and she did not return. I'm presently on the way to collect my brothers, Mycroft and Sherlock. Which is a spin-off from Sherlock Holmes. It's gonna be a movie on Netflix that comes out today, September 23rd. Enola Holmes is a series of books written by Nancy Springer. She started publishing these in 2006, and now it's turned into at least one movie. Uh, starring, I guess, Henry Cavill, Cavill? How do you say that guy's name? Superman guy? It stars as Enola Holmes, Millie Bobby Brown, who is in Stranger Things. What I thought was so cool about this is the fact that we're getting another telling of Sherlock Holmes. There is this insane amount of Sherlock Holmes, right? There's Sherlock, there's Elementary, the show, there's all these books, there's uh, all these movies with Robert Downey Jr. And over, there's many more interpretations and tellings of Sherlock Holmes, and now we're getting Enola Holmes. And even how many sign languages you can have in different different places of the same country or Yeah, there's you're right. There's actually you are totally right. That's what makes them so many sign languages. Yeah, the same country can even have different sign languages. You're right. You know, you're trying to do something creative, you're probably going to feel at one point that like all the good stuff's already been done. The good ideas have been taken. Like there's nothing you new you can provide to this. But I think when you see things like the variety of sign languages, or you see the fact that we're telling even another version of Sherlock Holmes with Enola Holmes, you can keep being creative in the same domain over and over and over again. There's always something that you can find. You know what it's time for? You do? What's it time for? Comics! No, the <laughs> comics are the after we get done with this show. It's time for the joke of the day. So Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, they go camping. Right, so they're out at night, they're, ha they're having dinner, they eat a nice meal, and then they go to sleep. Holmes wakes up and nudges Watson, and he's like, Watson, look up at the sky and tell me what you see. And Watson's like, I see millions and millions of stars. And Sherlock is like, 
Watson, what do you deduce from that? Deduce is like, well, you know, what kind of conclusions do you come up with? Because you can see millions and millions of stars. And Watson is like, well, astronomically, it means there's potentially billions of planets. I can also tell the time, and I know it's approximately a quarter past three. Meteorologically, I can also probably suspect that it's gonna be a beautiful day out today. What does it tell you, Holmes? And Sherlock Holmes says, Watson, you idiot, it means somebody stole our tent. Oh, because they can see the stars. Is that a good one? Mm -hmm. Have an awesome day. Check out uh, Enola Holmes on Netflix tonight. Hit the like button, please subscribe, hit the bell. Oh, and this video is sponsored by Netflix. Awesome. Just kidding, we haven't had any sponsors in any of these videos.